Hi guys, this is Jason Pye, the Math Guy, and today we're going to be learning about PEMDAS. Now, PEMDAS is how you determine the order that you'll do the operations in. The first letter in PEMDAS is P, which I have highlighted in yellow. That's the parentheses. In an equation, anything you have in parentheses will always be done first. The next letter is the E, highlighted in green. That's the exponents. After you do everything inside the parentheses, if there are any exponents, you'll do those. You'll raise the number to the exponent and set the value back to the equation. Next, highlighted in blue are the M and the D. Now, the reason they're highlighted in the same color is because you do them in the order they appear in the equation, from left to right. So you do the multiplication and division, and after that, you will do addition and subtraction. They are also highlighted in the same color because you will do them in the order they appear. All right, here I have some examples because some of you may not be familiar with PEMDAS or haven't done it that much yet. It would be good for you to get some practice. So if you would like to, you can pause the video and do these and then I will go over the answers. Do you have time to think about the answers? So for the first one, we have 2 plus 1 times 7. Multiplication comes before addition in PEMDAS. So we're going to do 2 plus 7, because 1 times 7 is 7. And the answer is 9. For the second one, in case you didn't know, this slash mark here is notation for division. So it's the same thing as the division sign. So you have 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. It comes first because it's before the multiplication. And we have 3 times 3 equals 9. Now for this equation, this little caret here is the same as it indicates an exponent. So 2, that caret 2, is 2 squared. And exponents come before multiplication in PEMDAS. So you're going to do 6 times 2 squared, which ends up being 6 times 4. So your answer is 24. For this equation, the parentheses are always done first. So we're going to add 5 and 7 to give us 12, then we're going to do 13 minus 12, and our answer is 1. This last equation, as you might notice, is similar to this one except without the parentheses. And you have 13 minus 5 plus 7. Now, subtraction comes first, so you're going to do it first in the equation. So you're going to get 8 plus 7 and get 15. Now with these two, you can see the importance of the parentheses, because by having or not having them, the value can change by a large number. In this case, 14. In some other cases, it'll be even bigger. Okay. So. All right. Now, this is a challenge problem. If you want to try this, you can again pause the video, take some time to work on it, and then I'll go over the answer. How did that work out for you? So, how did you guys do with the challenge problem? Now, the first thing you should have been doing was adding the 6 and the 5 because they're in the parentheses, so they come first. So that equals 11. So your new equation is 11 times 2 to the power of 2. Remember that carrot sign is the power of. Divided by 11 plus 1. Now, if you remember the order of PEMDAS, exponents comes next. So, you're going to square the 2 next. That'll give you 11 times 4 divided by 11 plus 1. Now, because the multiplication comes first in the equation, it goes before the division. And you end up with 44 divided by 11 plus 1. That gives you 4 plus 1, so the answer is 5 